Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Rishi Desai, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Brandon Perfuse, Chief Commercial Officer for Fulgent Genetics. Brandon, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what led you to your current role at Fulgent? My career essentially has been uh, all genetics. Uh, starting in 2003, I entered in the field of genetics, uh, spent about 11 years uh, in academia, spent uh, 11 years at Baylor College of Medicine, all in genetics, uh, mostly on the commercial side. Um, so, you know, certainly not an expert in infectious disease like you are. So take it a little bit easy on me today. Uh, so we find myself here, here at Fulgent now. Um, I've been here about three and a half years. Um, it's historically um, focused on rare disease, pediatric genetics. Um, I'm the chief commercial officer of the company, as you mentioned. Uh, so it's been uh, an interesting run in genetics. I think I've been sort of, uh, you know, really hit a lot of different waves in genetics. Starting 2003 was an you know, incredible time in human genetics. Uh, starting with, you know, launching microarrays for rare disease and mitochondrial diagnostics. And of course, that was the era of sequencing the whole human genome, which a lot of it was done at Baylor when I was there and uh, launching a clinical exome sequencing. So it's been really a, a bit of a lucky ride to see, you know, all these different milestones in medicine and be a part of launching testing for those. I said most of my career has been on the, on the commercial side. Uh, but now, like I said today, you know, hopefully we'll spend a little more time talking about, you know, what Fulgent's doing for, for COVID-19 testing and a little bit about what's going on in the, in the community today. Brendan, you know, a lot of our audience is going to be students, uh, future healthcare professionals, p- future geneticists, maybe that want to start a company like, like you know, what you're doing. Uh, I'd love to get your advice as they're sort of exiting and emerging from schools and graduating and mm-hmm. kind of entering the workforce. So I think it's been, uh, you know, an, an incredible feel for the last decade to see it expand, to see its use um, really explode. Uh, for so long, genetics was a diagnostic test giving you just an answer, but now we're seeing it applied to healthcare and treatments and prognosis and therapies. And, um, you know, I think for the next uh, well, foreseeable future, one of the most powerful tools in medicine is going to be genomics. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.